that seems to be the problem. Mission Control, there's a lot of fog on the runway. And I'm on a critical mission. I need to be certain of the average acceleration required from my standstill runway position to 300 kilometers per hour in 30 seconds. I need that calculation back in meters per second second or meters per second squared and I'll need that answer back ASAP. This is a go, no go decision and the only ones that I know who can solve this quickly are the little figures. The little figures, you're right. Stand by. You know, those Martians are looking down on us right now. Hey, you Martians, you can kiss my wrist. Oh, Jackson, you are so crazy. Dee Dee, Jackson, we are going to be doing math all night if we do not finish this problem. Yes, sir, traffic control, is there a problem? Mission control, we have a pilot on the runway. She needs to know her average acceleration ASAP. Can you solve this problem quickly so she can be cleared for takeoff? Ladies, we have been reassigned. We are going where few human calculators have gone before. And where's that ring? about this bathroom situation. Every day it's like I have to walk across Timbuktu just to relieve myself. Hey, hey, what did I miss? Girl, here at Mish Control, we all pee the same color. But right now, we need your help on this problem. Okay, so is this problem about distance or velocity? Ariel, animation please. So, distance is the amount of space between two points, A and B. And velocity is the speed in a given direction. Express in unit, distance divided by time. In this case, the pilot is at zero kilometers per hour and will be at 300 kilometers per hour some point later. So is this problem about acceleration? Sort of, but not really. At this point, the velocity may be at 50 kilometers per hour. And at this point, it may be at 60 kilometers per hour. When the velocity changes, it is said to be accelerating. The problem is about average acceleration, so the central or typical velocity over a certain period of time. In this case, 30 seconds. All right, let's get to work. So we start with our formula. Average acceleration equals final velocity minus initial velocity over time. Then we fill in our formula, 300 kilometers per hour minus 0 kilometers per hour over 30 seconds. Since the pilot needs our response in meters and seconds, now we know that one kilometer equals a thousand meters. So once we multiply that, then we get 300,000 meters per hour. Correct. Now, we do 300,000 meters per hour. We're over one, and we know that one hour has 60 minutes, and one minute has 60 seconds. So now we have 300,000 meters over 3,600 seconds. Once we simplify our equation, then we get 250 meters over three seconds. We multiply that by one over 30 seconds, and then we get 250 meters over nine seconds squared. So the answer is 2.7 repeating, and when rounded, the answer is 2.8 meters per second squared. Air traffic control, we have your answer. Your answer is 2.8 meters per second squared. Mission control, is that your final answer? Yes. Kilo Kilo 31 Niner, we have your answer. That's great. Tell the little figures that I said thank you. Looks like we're a go. Yeah. 